Good day. This is Justina, your sub teacher. I have about 10 minutes or minor to do an overview of the human body skeletal system. And I have manipulative tools to use in order for you to assimilate, comprehend, and understand the human body, how it functions, the proper ways to pronounce your body parts in English whenever you are speaking with your physician or any respectable medical professional. Now, bear with me while I start the screen in order for you to be able to see the websites and the pre-written lesson plan. Okay, this is simple. Now that we've already done the icebreaker, um, Simon says identification of simple body parts. Now we will walk through your limbs. Okay, so I have these flashcards and they are readily available through Amazon or Indigo Books shop um, as well as you can borrow from the library and it comes in this very heavy box and it is essential for anyone pursuing a master's or medical degree so i would highly recommend investing in your tools and in particular um, teaching and education. <clears throat> okay, so pointing towards the head, we have the frontal bone. Okay, and the scapula is essentially the... Um, the area between your shoulder and your chest and to give it a good stretch and to awaken your brain function to be ready to do your writing and lifting and carrying of items you can um simply do physiotherapy at home so you can just grab the corner of any wall and turn in the opposing way. And then it just gives it a good stretch and you'll feel the relief and then you'll feel a bit of a tingle um, on your shoulder blades. And it feels good when, um, when you aren't able to get any physiotherapy done. Okay, so I will be passing these around to each of your desks and you have a sheet of paper to label. The labels are blank. And your job now is to pair yourself in groups and fill out the labels and make sure that you with your partner or your partners can appropriately pronounce the body parts and identify them on your own bodies respectfully while you are dressed. Okay, while you were doing this, I will be projecting this website across the front board. And this is just um, a site anyone can look at. And it breaks down all of the body functions into easily manageable sections for you to memorize, understand, and be able to um, both identify and also um, be able to regurgitate when you were being tested or examined on any of your SAT examinations or substantial review. 
And this is pertinent for healthcare aides, nurses, um, dental assistants, medical assistants, and anybody um, who is looking to further their career. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll just flip my mouse and just turn this 3D so you can see this skeleton. Okay, now while you are filling out your anatomy physiology sheets, you can do this on your iPad. Okay, the body has 206 bones, cartilage and ligaments, and this is respective and regardless of your gender, uh, your faithful, association, um, where in the country you were born, first world, this third world, no matter, bodies are the same everywhere. Okay, when you look at the human skeleton, the 206 bones and 32 teeth stand out, but look closer and you'll see even more structures. The human skeleton also includes the ligaments and cartilage. Ligaments are bands of dense and fibrous connective tissue that are key to the function of joints. Cartilage is more flexible than bone, but stiffer than muscle. Cartilage helps give structure to the larynx and the nose. It is also found between the vertebrae and the end of bones like the femur. Okay, so this is what you are filling out. And next, your independent practice will be to explore the types of bones. This pictured here. As well as the details. Okay, a quick tip. The brain is surrounded by bones that form part of the skull. The heart and the lungs are located within the thoracic cavity. And the vertebral column provides structure and protection for the spinal cord. Number five, bones are grouped into the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. Bones of the appendicular skeleton facilitate movement, while bones of the axial skeleton protect internal organs. All skeletal structures belong to either the appendicular skeleton, girdles and limbs, or to the axial skeleton, skull, vertebral column, and thoracic cage. Thank you for listening today and watching me today. And I hope um, this lesson was useful for you and to guide you on your journey throughout your education, intervention, and rehabilitation. This was part of my Justice Correctionals Studies program of the Bow Valley College, which I extend and reinforced myself to be able to um, um, comply to the juvenile delinquent court system and also the Coursera 
University Arizona diploma, moving on to bachelor's degree. Thank you, and I look forward to your um, critical review and or um, passing score points. Thank you. Bye-bye.